Welcome to my channel Mispronounced Adventures and this video is all about a Raptor grill upgrade to my pre-facelift Transit. So let's jump back in time before I fitted it, look at the product and the install and how it went. So these are the Raptor grills. They were originally from the Ford Ranger pickup trucks and then in 2019 on the Ford Transit you could get the trail model which had the style of grill. However, this is a 2018 Ford Transit, so this is a pre-facelift model, which means the trail grills do not fit, but someone's been making them, which will fit all the 2014 to 2018 Ford Transits. Um, it's not a genuine Ford part, but the build quality is superb, and it looks like the effect you want with the Raptor grills. Not everyone's gonna like the style. I'm quite looking forward to the style, particularly as I've always wanted to replace this, because when I bought it, it's got a cracked logo on it. I think buying the new Ford logo is about 40 pounds, uh, these are available on eBay and I bought this one for £100 and then some shipping on top and I'm going to put an eBay affiliate link in the description so if you are interested in buying one of these for a 2018 Transit or below or a pre facelift model click the link below and you can buy it from there and then I'll get a little bit as well which would be much appreciated so let's get it fitted if you don't know if you've got a face model lift Transit or not there's a few ways to tell on the grill, you've got the widest point lower on, on the 2019 facelift, the wider, widest point is higher up. And this paint part of the, uh, the paintwork body is not here. The grill directly meets the bumper on the facelift model. But the actual design of the grill looks the same. The quality of the grill, it looks to be an injected molded part. And I was surprised at how thick the plastic is. I thought this grill would be really quite thin, but actually the plastic here is pretty thick. Um, it's not flimsy, there's not really much flex in it compared to the original grill, which has got quite a lot of flex in them. So the part actually feels a lot more robust than the original Ford one. And all being well, um, it uses the same clip points that the original grill uses as well. So we're going to pop the bonnet and start getting the old grill off. I don't know why I went into the cab because that's not where the bonnet catches. So whilst the grill does clip on, I'm going to remove all the bolts and retaining clips for this section of the bodywork, just so it gives me a bit of flex to unclip the grill. Uh, this is a European Transit, so any Americans watching, you'll have a completely different engine um, in yours. Right, let's get the bolts out. So those unbolt pretty easily. And then these plastic little clips as well, sort of groove, and then you can just pop them out like that. So that's all loosened. So there is a central clip which goes between here and the Ford logo. As you can see, I broke that off. And now it's just getting the last ones down. It's got some big clips and then it's got these little ones which I just need to find the correct way to pop out. I don't want to flex the bodywork too much because it is just a plastic bodywork and I don't want to crack that. One grill off. That was totally not easy. So the way it holds on is it fits in these gaps and there's that little plastic nub which fits in the coal in there. It's very difficult to get to on the bottom ones. I will be honest, I have um, broken that one. <laughs> or that clip at least. But the others it should get back in. Not really sure if it's designed to come back out after it's grill's been put in. Right, out with the old, in with the new. Let's get the sticker off here as well. That's the company who uh, I got them off on eBay. I'll give you a link to their... Great. So the plastic I think I've heard people remove is this little section here, these sections here for this support for the old grill. 
because because when putting in the new one once it all lines up the plastic on the back those tabs foul the front so we're just going to remove those right i'm going to cut off this section see it's just flimsy plastic there for support and I believe if you ever did want to go back to the old grill you could probably just rebuy this plastic part so it's going to cut it off at all these points and take it out well whilst i'm here i might as well clean up all the old dirt and my which gets between it if you are enjoying the content um please feel free to subscribe it really helps my channel out um and if you're enjoying sort of the four transit stuff there's a lot more on this van all the way from sort of converting it from an empty panel van to my full-time house it's all on my european channel so you might find some of the other channel content helpful as well if you've got one of these vehicles and you're working on it um additionally there's gonna be a bunch of new upgrade videos coming on and a new travel series coming up soon as well but let's carry on and get this all cut out Easy of a multi tool, wasn't it? Hello. Mostly in, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the old clips all back on, screw it back down, and then I'm going to make sure all the clips are fully in. So there are other ways to get the, um, the grill off. Taking the entire bumper off, you give you access to the clips at the back. I've seen people using a heat gun to heat up the lower clips, which makes them pop out a bit easier. Or the method I use, if you're just gentle and work at it slowly, you'll be able to get them to pop out. Well, I'm pretty happy with that. I think it's gonna be a little bit of adjustment just to get all the clips um, seated correctly, but getting there. So still definitely trying to get it to fit. So I've managed to get this side to be fit flush and clipping at the back. I'm having difficulty at the moment getting this side to, get, to fit in. So I think I might loosen these bolts again and persuade it just to pop in there because it, then it can sit behind this sort of ridge here and hold it in a bit more. I mean, that's now in. Yeah, pretty happy with that. That's pretty solid. It's now in on both sides, just brute force. Whilst the grill is securely clipped, I have drilled some holes in the plastic behind and just run some black cable ties just to really secure. So whilst I really don't think it's going anywhere and it's clipped in quite tightly, uh, it's quite tight fit so I'd rather it didn't ever pop out by accident so I've just put some really hidden cable ties which I think is a good upgrade. Right that's pretty much going to conclude this episode. Um, I think it makes a complete change to the front end of the van. It's a cosmetic upgrade, so it's not going to be to everyone's sort of tastes. I would say the most difficult bit for doing it is probably unclipping the bottom set of clips on the old one. And as you saw, I did break one of the clips doing it. So probably don't do it how I did it, or just do it slower. Or I am sure there are like classic tools you can use to get in there and unclip it properly, but I didn't have those to hand. Um, additionally, the fit is pretty good. It was quite difficult to get it in the body section, but after it was in, uh, and then it clipped, it felt really sturdy and the cable ties I've put on are probably unnecessary but better safe than sorry. So once again this is for a pre-2019 facelift transit. If you have a 2019 facelift transit, um, you, the trail model comes with this sort of grill or you can buy the official Ford part. This is for the 2014 to 2018 Ford Transit which have a different front end. 
If you want to buy it, I'm going to put a eBay affiliate link in the description as well. That doesn't cost you any more money, but it means I make a little bit of commission on the eBay link that I used to buy this off, if you use it as well. So, hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's been helpful um, of figuring out how to get the front grille off and putting the new one on. If you enjoyed this sort of content, there's plenty more for transit related and camper van related building aspects on my channel. So give me a subscribe, give me a like or a comment. Um, and yeah, thank you very much. See you next time. Cheers. Bye.